All right, once again, we are now under watches, tropical storm watch, as well as a storm surge watch. We've got the alerts up on the screen for you. This is the hurricane warning. You can see the area shaded in red, and that's where we anticipate a landfalling major hurricane right there under the Big Bend area all the way down towards Tampa. But let's get you caught up on what's happening here close to home. And a lot of you always ask me, Rob, does this include inland portions of our area? Yes, it does. Berkeley County, all of the county is under that tropical storm watch, and that again extends all the way down the coast. So even into the inland portions of uh, coastal counties like Colleton County, Charleston County, obviously you are also under this watch. It doesn't look like Dorchester County is under this tropical storm watch, but we certainly could see some tropical storm force gusts based on the latest information received from the National Hurricane Center. There's Hurricane Franklin. The swells continue to move from the east back to the west. So over the next few days, if you wanted to get out on the water, probably not the best thing just because the rip current risk will be high. Then we look at tropical storm Idalia. It's barely a tropical storm in terms of it's almost a hurricane. Winds are 70 miles an hour, only needs to get to 74, and then it will become a hurricane, and chances are that will happen potentially this evening. But what you look at right here, this is an enhanced infrared picture. We colorize the higher, the colder cloud tops, and we assign colors to those high cold cloud tops, the ones producing the thunderstorms, and you see the lightning right there. So this uh, burst of convection thunderstorm activity is helping to fuel the storm as it's now moving into a very good region, favorable region for even more intensification. So as of the five o'clock advisory, you can see it's moving to the north at eight. The winds are 70. The gusts are 85. Here is that movement to the north, the projected track now from the National Hurricane Center. And a couple of things to note. Number one, you can see just in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Now we're looking at the winds potentially 120, still a category three hurricane. And and then as it moves inland, staying a hurricane, a category one hurricane with 90 mile an hour winds, the official forecast, even inland of Florida and Georgia. And then it moves to the north and east and eventually could be very close to our coast right here as a tropical storm. Now this is the cone of uncertainty. So what we'd like to see, we'd like to see it do this kind of on the southern ridge of this cone. That would certainly lessen the impacts for us. Where it's coming right now, it looks like heavy rain is a real possibility in addition to that onshore wind where it's going to create even more coastal flooding with a high tide coming up on Wednesday. When we talk about favorable conditions, typically when you look at the ocean temperature or the Gulf temperature, when you get a temperature of 80 degrees, those storms can form and be fueled. Now we're talking about mid to upper 80s, and that certainly will add a lot of fuel to the mix for this Dahlia, eventually a hurricane. Partly cloudy, warm and humid, 76 inland, 78 at the beach for tonight. The problem later on this week is the full moon coming up the second full moon here in the month of August and because it is going to be at perigee closest to the earth as it moves around the earth then the tides are going to be even more elevated 90 for your Tuesday weather alert day coming up on Wednesday 83 showers and thunderstorms are likely along with gusty winds in addition to the heavy rainfall we'll talk about how much rain we might expect coming up in just a few minutes and then the weather should improve as we move on into the day Thursday and really improve for Friday Saturday and and Sunday. That's your inland outlook. Obviously, beach impacts on Wednesday with gusty winds. Tropical storm force winds are possible. 82 the high, improving weather Thursday and especially Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all the way to the beach.